I'm Ros Atkins. This is Outside Source. We'll begin with a cross-channel row as thousands more migrants reach the UK from France. The UK is saying it may now turn some boats back. France says this is dangerous and illegal. The people seeking a better life don't appear deterred. It's tough talk on this issue, the prospect of sending boats back to French waters, whether that would really deter people from travelling to the United Kingdom or trying to get there. I think that tough talk has probably fallen on deaf ears. Also in the programme, we'll look as a civilian plane is allowed to fly out of Kabul for the first time since US forces left Afghanistan. It's now landed in Doha with some 200 foreign nationals on board. Meanwhile, inside Afghanistan, the Taliban continues to crack down on protesters. Also, there are claims that journalists have been beaten as they cover the demonstrations. And we'll look at what's to blame for the shortages in the UK. Is it Brexit or Covid? France is accusing the UK of breaking the law with its new policy to prevent migrants crossing the Channel. The UK has authorised the border force to turn back boats in limited circumstances. Now, the context here is that a record number of migrants have attempted the crossing between France and England this summer. Over 1,500 migrants arrived this week, 785 on Monday. And now border staff are being trained to turn boats around, though this can only happen with sign-off from the Home Secretary, Priti Patel. Today, Boris Johnson's spokesperson said any plans would be safe and legal, but there's stiff opposition to this, even from inside the Prime Minister's party. Here's the Conservative MP, Tim Loughton. 